Hello everybody, hello to everybody in Asia and the Pacific region. Thank you so much for joining us for Spring Live. This is of course a free online virtual interactive 24 hour plus uh, long conference that occurs by the way on the day of the Spring Equinox. Uh, and that answers the question, is it actually possible to watch too much TikTok? I think we're going to find that the answer is yes. Yes, it is. Uh, this is, of course, uh, an amazing uh, opportunity for all of us. I think it's a really exciting opportunity for all of us to be able to, to gather here, uh, particularly in light of the circumstances that uh, that ensnare all of us, the ones that surround us, right? Um, it's hard to ignore the reality of the situation. There are uh, There's a uh, uh, a very, very scary virus, the coronavirus, that's ravaging communities all around the planet. Um, and uh, that's not good, right? It's not good. It's, uh, it's not good, but I am optimistic. I am hopeful, my friends, that we're going to get through this crisis together. Uh, we can do this by practicing some basic, um, uh, uh, basic uh, uh, discipline. We can avoid, for example, uh, going out into crowds. If you can stay home, you should. Uh, if you have to go out and you have to interact with other people, Keep a distance of, let's say, two meters, okay? Keep a distance from people. Um, do your best to practice social distancing, at least. If you are sick, uh, you know, remember not to cough into your hands. Cough instead into your elbow. Remember uh, to wash your hands. Even if you're not sick, wash your hands all the time. Avoid touching your face uh, if you can. And if you and if you uh, uh, must... Um, if you can't stop touching your face, then make sure you wash your hands all the time, right? Really, just do your best to keep clean and keep away from infection. And if we do that, my friends, we can get together, uh, get through this together, and uh, really, uh, you know, I think we'll be better for the experience. But I can understand if you're stuck at home and you're kind of bored and, uh, it's you know, you're having a hard time uh, focusing. Uh, that's totally understandable. For my part, um, I've been... Uh, looking for things that I can do as well. Obviously, uh, there's some nice things out there you could do. You could play, uh, uh, you could play video games, right? Or or do board games, video games, or board games. Both of which are very nice. Um, I uh, have become, I've been really enjoying the uh, the video game Super Mario Maker and all the custom levels. That's a fun game. Uh, you could um, you could drink, right? Drinking is a that's a use of time. I mean, it's not a great use of time, but if you're gonna do it. Just uh, don't operate any uh, PHP code uh, if you can while you're drinking. Uh, be careful not to hit the uh, Balmer peak. We do not want another Windows ME. Uh, and uh, you know, that's I guess that's one use of time. Another thing that you could do, uh, of course, is learn. I love learning. Learning is a lot of fun. Um, I've been learning. Uh, I've been trying to learn Mandarin Chinese. That's been it's going well. Uh, I am. Uh, always a fan of learning. I've been learning new things about programming, new programming languages, new technologies. Uh, have I mentioned how uh, how much I love Kotlin? Uh, uh, and learning is really what we're here to do today, right? We have an amazing opportunity, my friends, uh, to learn um, to learn about uh, to learn about uh, a lot of different things about how to build modern uh, cloud native applications, uh, and so. For those of you uh, who are joining us, uh, there's a lot of stuff that we could do. There's a lot of stuff that we could learn together. So today we have a really nice round, you know, roundup of, of content here, uh, starting at uh, uh, at uh, let's see what it says right here, 10 o'clock uh, GST. Uh, a lot of good stuff, right? I, all of these look good. I wish I could watch all of them. Obviously, at some point I'm going to have to sleep to be able to catch up. Uh, but there's there's uh, Spring Boot and Kotlin, a winning combination by Ken Kusen. I would watch that one. That's that's going to be great. Um, uh, Ray Tseng. Oh, my goodness. He's going to be doing a talk, uh, Effective Spring Boot on Google Cloud Platform. That's a good one, too. I would definitely watch that one. Uh, I thought, let's see. We've got a – that looks good, too. Kubernetes, yeah, that's good. Terraforming your, your cloud looks really good as well. I mean, just lots of good stuff here, my friends. I would definitely uh, – oh, Brian Sletton. Oh, absolutely amazing. If you get a chance, uh, whatever he's going to talk about, watch it, right? Um, and, of course, we've got Kylie Liang uh, from Microsoft over in uh, in uh, uh, China, right? So uh, another great talk. I would, I would definitely watch that one as well. These are all all the talks. I don't, I don't have to dissect them. They're all going to be great. What is this one? Let's see. 
Oh yeah, this one too. My goodness, uh, spring. Cl uh, I this is Sobi Chakos what on the spring team, uh, and uh, he's the lead of Spring Cloud Stream Kafka Streams. Just a, a an amazing, amazing uh, engineer and an amazing authority on all things streaming, which is kind of the point, right, my friends? The real benefit of this conference is not that you can watch these talks, which that's part of it, certainly, but it's that you can interact with these people. These are people I want to hang out with. These are people that I want to ask questions, and we can now, thanks to the magic of this format. So you can watch these talks. They're going to be recorded. You can watch them later, but the real advantage is that you're going to be able to talk to them, to ask them questions, and this is, I think, where we have the most uh, opportunity, my friend. So you know, take notes, have fun, enjoy yourself, learn something. And of course, uh, we'll see you around.